Hey there, YouTubers. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit today about uh, one of my most recent projects here, this uh, Triumph Tiger, and just the, the diagnostic process, how it never should end. Uh, we want to be thinking about things as we go together. I talk a lot about diagnose, make a plan, you know, in a checklist format, and then make the repairs. And I want to make sure that we're thinking about uh, diagnosing still as we're going, thinking about the whole project as you're as you're repairing it. So this Tramp Tiger here, let's take a look at this guy, is uh, had extreme uh, uh, loss of coolant, you know, and but no evidence to the customer, nothing on the ground. Uh, he was on the highway; it could have, uh, you know, went fast enough to where he didn't notice it, but it, it definitely wasn't uh, wasn't right. Uh, and then got to a point of not running at all. Massive amount of intake on the. Uh, or excuse me, a massive amount of carbon all over the valves and was uh, broke down. So anyway, I'm going back together with it and I'm considering, you know, the entire time, like I said, what I have, uh, you know, what the problem was, the evidence, I should say, and that was that there was no coolant. So check this out here. Uh, even though I've already tested it before, now that, you know, I've got new parts in there, new head gasket, some new clamps, hoses, different things, uh, I want to retest the, the cooling system so that I know it's fully operational. If, if you don't understand cooling systems and the operation of it, you need to uh, go watch my cooling system videos and understand that this has to build, be able to hold pressure. So the system under pressure, the coolant acts differently. It will actually, for every one PSI, it lowers the boiling point of the coolant three degrees. There's your little quick tip. Watch the full video for, for details. But anyway, I'm going together with this and pressurizing the system and lo and behold I've got this uh, sensor here is puking out um, antifreeze. I just got water in it now just to test the system. Uh, and look at this. I'm still able to hold pressure if you can see this here. I'm trying not to blind you. Uh, but it, it's not enough pressure. I want to be more up in the green there for this cooling system on here. And you can see I'm down to, I think it's 9 to 11 PSI. And I want to be, excuse me, I'm more in the yellow is where I want to be. Uh, the blue to yellow there. Um, you got to determine cap pressure and so on. Take a look at, like I said, the other videos for more detail. But I'm going to go ahead and pressurize this and see if I can't get you to see where it's actually leaking out of this. I have another repair. The other thing you got to think about is the tests that you do that are so... Let's see if I can get out of this dark area. Let me just finish this up here. Um, the other thing you got to think about is the tests that you do... You know, are they costing you time or are they saving you other, pro you know, problems in the future? <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, if you don't know what a Triumph Tiger looks like, I can tell you what, I own one myself. And that big old gas tank right there covers up everything. I mean, you can't get to the radiator cap. I'm not crazy about the design of this at all, but love the bike. So had I went ahead and just, you know, put the bike back to this condition... And then start up and found out I had coolant leak. I'd have to tear it all the way back down. And just so you just so you know, on a Tiger, to get the fuel tank off, obviously pull the seats. You got to pull the battery out, the battery box, these side covers, the turn signals, the windshield, the front fairing, just to access the last couple of bolts to disconnect and remove the fuel tank to get to the cooling system so man tons of work a little bit of testing right now is saving me a ton of grief uh i want to encourage you to uh continue the diagnostic process continue th deep thinking uh working on your craft make it a great day keep wrenching and we'll talk to you again soon